Hello and welcome to New Mexico Rising. My name is Dan. On this week's episode, we go back to school with Disney. You know, I think back to school is so much more fun with Disney princess inspired fashion. And a little later, find out how you can keep yourself nice and healthy. And guess what? You feel good after, after eating. All right here on New Mexico Rising. Today, we have lifestyle experts. Megan Murphy is joining us with her comprehensive guide to prep your home, family, and get the students for back to school, back to school. Welcome to the show, Megan. How are you? Yay, thank you for having me. I'm great. All right, so where shall we start? So I like to start in the closet. I like to do a big closet clean out, and I do that with ThreadUp, which is the ultimate in consignment convenience. If you go to threadup.com slash cleanout, you can get one of these polka dot cleanout kits. You're gonna fill it with your gently loved clothes for kids and for women's. You send it to ThreadUp, they take the pictures, they post it, they sell it, they ship it, you get the money. And you can use it to shop their website. They have incredible deals, up to 90% off of retail on gently used clothing. So it's a really affordable, sustainable way to shop for back to school and get control of that clutter. So if we're like stuck for time, is there like a resource or a one-stop mm -hmm. shop that you recommend to like complete all of our shopping? Yeah, I mean, I go to Target for one thing and leave with everything. You're gonna get your essentials for back to school and back to dorm. So room essentials, like your up and up pencil cases, your Mondo Llama pencil kits, we got to start packing lunches again. I love the Cat and Jack bento boxes. And Gooden Gather does some really fantastic snacks, like these glazed donut almonds. Big hit at my house. Um, also, backpacks. You're going to need a new uh, backpack refresh. Cat and Jack does this really cute unicorn one. And I love the adaptive backpacks from Target. This one hangs on the back of a wheelchair. So how about the latest deals to help keep the families connected? Oh, T-Mobile has some incredible device deals. So if you go into T-Mobile, you can get a free 5G smartphone. They've got the Revel 6 Pro, the Sync Up Kids Watch. And when you add a qualified line, you're getting 24 monthly bill credits plus tax. Um, and there's also just so many values of being a T-Mobile customer. You're getting free Wi-Fi, free international data, free Netflix, and also you're, you're getting the most reliable 5G network in the nation. So what is one of your go-to options to try to keep your kids healthy this time of year? Okay, so we're, we're trying to like jumpstart our fall with some healthier habits and Fairlife Milk is genius. It is ultra filtered, so it has 50% more um, protein, but 50% less sugar than traditional milk. It's super, super creamy, and it comes in chocolate and strawberry. And I use the white milk in my kids' morning smoothies. All right. Well, thank you for joining me this morning. Where can we go for more information? And also, how can our my audience follow you on social media? Sure. So you can go to ThreadUp, T-Mobile, Fairlife, and Target. And I'm at Megan, M-E-A-G-H-A-N, B. Murphy on Instagram and, and most social media. Well, thank you, Megan, for joining me this morning. You know, a dermatologist can be your best advocate for preventing and treating brand new skin flare-ups. Still, there's new research that reveals that one of the most prominent chronic diseases impacting the black population is sensitive skin and eczema. Yet, only 3% of all dermatologists are black, making it hard for the community to find a doctor that understands the specific skin and health needs. So, joining the conversation and championing the Skin Visibility Program, which aims to address the underdiagnosis and care and treatment of sensitive skin and eczema, is co founder of the Health and Her Hue, Ashley Wisdom. She's on the show right now. Welcome to the show, Ashley. Thank you for having me. All right, can you tell us about the Avino Skin Visibility Program and the top findings from the survey? Yeah, so Avino launched its Skin Visibility Program back in 2021 as a way to bring awareness as well as address the underdiagnosis of skin sensitivity and eczema, um, and particularly in, in skin of color. And so they do a survey every year, and their 2023 survey found that 64% of Black Americans have expressed having some type of skin health concern, and yet 34% of those Black Americans also express some difficulty um, having or being able to find a healthcare provider that can adequately address their healthcare concerns. And so that's where our collaboration with Avino comes into play. And we're really excited to be collaborating with them as well as 
um, Chanel Iman to bring resources to over 200,000 black, black women. Um, she has had her own personal skin sensitivity journey um, throughout her pregnancies. And on top of that, she has two daughters that um, struggled with eczema. And she struggled to find a healthcare provider that could prescribe the right types of products that she felt comfortable putting on her daughters and that could meet their um, you know, skin, skin health concerns. And so she's teamed up with Health and Her Hue and Avino to provide um, Health and Her Hue premium memberships to over 500 um, Black women and women of color. And that membership will give women access to a provider directory of over 1,300 uh, culturally responsive healthcare providers so that women can easily connect with the dermatologists um, who've been trained to provide, um, you know, treat, treat skin of um, color. And then they'll have access to a content library that includes content to support women with finding educational resources on skin health and other health concerns. And then a community forum where they can connect with other women of color who are navigating similar health, um, skin sensitivity, health concerns. All right, so tell me more about this collaboration. Um, how do you think it is, is gonna help black women and women of color foster an inclusive like skincare industry and not just for, uh, yeah, just not for the small industry, for the whole thing overall? Yeah, so as you mentioned earlier on that um, only 3% of dermatologists um, are black, which makes it really difficult for women of color to find healthcare providers who can adequately um, diagnose them and treat their skin concerns. So through our provider directory that women will be able to have access to because of the sponsored premium memberships, they will have an easier way to try to find and connect with providers who are providers of color or providers who've been trained to provide skin of, um, provide care to skin of color. Also with the collaboration, Avino and Health and Our Hue will be launching a campaign to try to get more dermatologists and pediatric dermatologists on the Health and Our Hue platform so that other moms, other parents can find the right type of doctor to treat their child or even their own personal skin sensitivity and eczema. Ashley, where can we go for more information and uh, how can we use these resources? You know, people can go to healthandherhue.com to access the platform. And they can also go to Health and Her Hue's Instagram account or Twitter account at Health and Her Hue on both Instagram and Twitter, where they can find specific information about how they can claim one of those 500 um, sponsored premium Health and Her Hue memberships. Thanks for joining me, Ashley. Of course, thank you for having me. You know, just in time for a new school year, a new campaign hopes to spark a meaningful conversation about aspirational Disney princess characters and the importance of living each and every day with confidence and mindfulness. And joining us today is super mom and celebrity journalist Emily Foley, who is teaming up with Disney for the Wonder of Princess celebration. You know, Emily regularly writes for publications like Allure, Glamour, Marie Claire, InStyle.com, that show New Mexico Rising. Well, she doesn't write, she likes to hang out here and shares her expertise on Instagram. Just find her at Emily L. Foley. Welcome to the show, Emily, how are you? Hi, I'm well, thank you for that fabulous introduction. <laughs> Well, th we're talking Disney princesses, and I'm a Disney princess fan. I even got my uh, Snow White tattoo on my arm. That's what everyone keeps saying. Well, what's that on your arm? Yeah, it's Snow White. That's what that is, all right? <laughs> what is this Wonder of Princess celebration? Can you tell me about it? Yes, yeah, so Wonder of Princess is a month-long celebration of the Disney princess brand and its beloved characters. And the goal is to get kids excited about heading back to school and inspire confidence for a new year of learning. And as part of the celebration, Disney is releasing a magical lineup of new products and collabs. What are some ways to help young people kind of build their confidence? And when I first said it, I was stumbling through it, so I should have built my own confidence trying to say it. You know, mindfulness, meditation, and a good night's sleep are great places to start. So Disney and Calm are bringing inspirational lessons and magic of Disney princess characters to families with new mindfulness and sleep content available exclusively on the Calm app. The new series includes sleep stories, meditations, and soundscapes to help families head into the school year with confidence, encourage rest at bedtime, and help make mindfulness a priority Plus Shop Disney has just launched Disney Princess sleep sets and plush characters to help get kids help kids get cozy for those sleep stories on Calm. 
Excellence. Maybe I'm gonna download that so I can sleep like a Disney princess. That'd be amazing. <laughs> uh, what are some helpful accessories that can help kids get excited about going back to school? You know, I think back to school is so much more fun with the Disney princess inspired fashion. And Janie and Jack have a wonderful new collection bringing the iconic dresses and Disney princess styles to life. Plus, I love this Disney Princess backpack set from BioWorld. It literally has everything kids need as they head back to the classroom. And for older Disney Princess fans, A Twisted Tale Anthology is a new book that's available for pre-order now. And do you have any suggestions for, like, inspiring some play? You know, you can help inspire imaginative play with this new Mattel Disney Princess Magical Adventures Castle. This thing is four feet tall, has interactive lights and sounds, and over 25 furniture pieces and accessories. It's really cool. And the Disney Princess Fresh Prep Gourmet Kitchen from Jack Specific takes play cooking to a whole new level with interactive effects and over 35 accessories. Now, I live in a Lego home. My kids love Legos, and I love how much they inspire creativity. And this new Lego Disney Princess Ultimate Adventure Castle comes with five mini doll figures, and it can actually be seen in the new Disney Plus special, Lego Disney Princess The Castle Quest premiering August 18th. How can young adults or even parents get in on the Disney Princess fun? So I have a big, big exciting news for all of the adult Disney fans and collectors out there. Let's start with the Mattel Creations Royal Radiance Doll Collection. This is a new line of collector dolls launching this month. The first doll on the line is this stunning Belle doll. Fans can also celebrate Disney 100 Years of Wonder with special collector edition Tiana and Cinderella dolls, also from Mattel. Those dolls are available for pre-order now and are seriously a dream come true for any collection. Then Corksicle has also dropped a limited edition Disney 100 line. Mad Beauty has this fabulous Disney princess collaboration. And then let's talk Disney jewels. I'm actually wearing a piece from this collection, these fabulous coin necklaces feature very Disney, various Disney princess characters. They're perfect for layering or wearing alone. They're really fabulous for the adult Disney princess lovers among us. That sounds great. All right, Emily, where can we go for more information? You can go to tipsontv.com. All right, and one more time, where can we follow you on Instagram and uh, social media? Yeah, you can find me at Emily L. Foley across the board. Thank you very much for joining me this morning, Emily. Thanks for having me today. Take care. Eight billion people. You know, that's a lot of mouths to feed. And Mother Earth is struggling to meet the demand. We all want the best for our families. So how do you get delicious food while conserving some of our planet's resources? Well, today we have Chef Gennard Wells, who knows a lot about feeding a crowd because he's an award-winning TV host, best-selling cookbook author, and he's a father of nine. Chef Gennard is joining us today with some tasty ideas. And not only does he know how to get around in the bedroom, he also knows to get around in the kitchen. So there you go, Jeff. Welcome to the show, Chef. How are you? I am good. Thank you for having me. You know they always say, Food is first base. All right. Well, that's good. Can you can you tell us about your family and you know why why is sustainable eating so essential? Sustainable eating is so essential, or sustainability as a whole, because we have to do our part to try to help the world that we live in. Like you said, we got eight billion people, and nine of them from my household are consuming all of that eight billion number. So, what can we do? to reduce some of the greenhouse emissions? What can we do to help the world? All right, can you tell us about some of the swaps that you make for families? Now, you can't be afraid to step out of the box. Some people think, okay, breakfast is meant for breakfast, lunch is for lunch, and dinner, vice versa. But I say, step out. Grab some nice, good panne or bow tie pasta. Roast you a little corn, wilt you some spinach, get you some butternut squash. Get you some of the meatless breakfast patties that Nature Fine creates, which is amazing. And then to top it all off, get the dairy-free cream cheese, the chive and onions, and fold it in to make an amazing Creole-style pasta. Finish it off with some Cajun spices, some nice good cherry tomatoes, and you have an amazing dish that the whole family will love. And guess what? You feel good after, after eating it. Because when you top it off with those meatless patties, the meatless breakfast sausage, 
11 grams of protein per serving and 75% less fat. Wow, that's that's actually really nice. <laughs> what are some of the health benefits it of it? It is. Some of the health benefits is we know that when you create fire, fire is sustainable. Fire, you, what, you're, what they're using, na nature's fine is using a breakthrough fermentation. One of the things when you're looking at this right here, you're consuming protein from the source. See, we, we like getting that secondhand protein. And, 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 and trust me, a lot of people in the world enjoy it. But I say skip the, mi skip the middle food and go straight to the source so that it breaks down different. You get that natural energy when you're eating fungi protein, which is what the fire is derived from, and you also get the umami flavors at the same time. And then how we help the world when we talk about sustainability, nature's fine food company, which is the optimist of people that grow or love to grow fire, is cons you, 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 this can be harvested 365 days out of the year, rain, sleet, or snow. So something like that, you don't have to worry about what's going on and how it's affecting the world because you're not damaging anything by growing it, but we're getting all of the proper nutrition that we need in our body on a daily basis. And it tastes good because everyone thinks about that. Okay, Chef, you know what you say is healthy and all of that, but how does it taste? It tastes amazing. All right, can you tell us about Sustainable Sunday and what does your family do? Sustainable Sunday is my educational day with the kids, but more so for me, a way that I get a chance to, to spend time with the kids. Put all the cell phones up, turn all the TVs off, let's get in the kitchen, let's cook something good together. And I cook things that are conducive to what everyone eats. I have one that's a vegetarian. I have one that doesn't do, do dairy. I have one that likes to work out and consume only protein. So while cooking, I'm educating them and showing them how they can create these amazing meals, create these great flavors, and using products that they can grab right off the store shelf to create some immaculate. And you swap out those the, the, the old stuff that you would normally use in it to make it with something new, something good, something more sustainable, and you get that same flavorful experience. But more importantly, it's a day of sharing love around the dinner table with my family. Well, thank you for that, Chef. I've never even heard of Phi, and uh, thanks for, I, I thought it was a typo. That's why I skipped saying it. I was like, uh, what is this Phi, F-Y, what is Phi? I, I didn't know what it was. Yeah, uh, thanks for teaching me about this. So uh, where can we find these products, and uh, where can we find out more? <laughs> yeah, so remember, of course, Phi protein is a nutritional fungi protein, as simple as that but go to naturesfine.com where you can download cool recipes like what I have before you. You can even go, you can even find out your local stores. I'm sure you got a Sprouts near you. Swing on over to Sprouts, grab you a tub of that cream cheese and one of those breakfast patties. And trust me, you won't be sorry. As a matter of fact, I think I get an inbox from you on how great it is. Chef Gennard, you are here. Where can we follow you on social media? You can follow me at Chef Gennard. Chef Gennard, thanks for joining me this morning. I'm going to look into this, and I'll message you, let you know what I think of it. Thank you. Please do. <laughs> That's Chef Gennard. Thanks for joining me this morning. <laughs> Cryptocurrency. Even though it's in the news a lot, many of us don't really know much about it. A Pew Research Center survey found that we have some extreme feelings, either we, we don't trust it, or others in the survey said crypto is the wave of the future. We have one of the leading experts in the field joining us to give us a better understanding of crypto as a currency and as an investment. We have Michael Sunshine, who's the CEO of Grayscale, the largest crypto asset manager in the world. Welcome to the show, Michael. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for having me. Great to be here. Okay. I've made a lot of money and I've lost a lot or didn't make a lot of money doing crypto. And I wouldn't say lost a lot. I was buying and using crypto like it was regular cash when I had several actual coins. And then it shot up to 20K and I was realizing I was spending uh, Teslas on cheeseburgers back in the day. So uh, what about what about for people that are still in the dark? How is it supposed to be used? Because I don't know if I did it right and I found myself... Uh, uh, not owning the, uh, the uh, eating the cheeseburgers that could be Teslas nowadays. 
Sure. Well, I've got to say, for most folks, they really have to think about crypto as a new asset class. And that new asset class is underpinned by a new technology, which is blockchain. So to different folks, crypto is going to mean different things. I think to your very valid point here in the U.S., many of us believe that crypto can actually be the foundation for the next generation of the Internet and as the Internet continues to evolve. All right. So what are some of the advantages of using and investing in cryptocurrency? And I've actually I've been doing that myself and seen good results, honestly. So uh, any suggestions? We have to look at some of the systems we have today and some of the limitations that they have. Let's look at banking. Banks are only open certain days of the week, certain hours of the day. And so payments can only be sent certain hours of the day and days of the week. But we live in a 24-7 world. And so when you look at new technologies like Bitcoin, which can allow payments to happen every day between people, between businesses, seamlessly and virtually for free, it actually starts to show how these new technologies are more reflective of the world that we live in today. And there are a ton of cryptocurrencies out there, and it feels like uh, there's always these new ones popping up. How does a person decide which ones to invest in? Um, such as like ETH or actual Bitcoin or new stuff like gerbil coin or whatever they're coming up with? Well, that's exactly right. There are thousands of digital currencies out there. And here at Grayscale, we try and make it as easy as possible for investors. We've developed a family of investment products so that investors can buy exposure to Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other digital assets right in their brokerage accounts today. All right, so what do you say for those that uh, you that are like, deniers and think that crypto isn't going to last. What do you think? Well, if you take one thing away from this conversation, it's that crypto is here to stay. Crypto is an industry. It employs hundreds of thousands of people, millions of Americans and folks all around the world are investing in crypto. And so we're finding ourselves at a moment where not only is the momentum around crypto increasing, but we're actually starting to see some catch up being played by our legislators. The SEC is still deciding whether or not to allow Bitcoin to be included in the exchange trade funds or ETFs. What's what's the latest info on that? Well, that's right. The SEC, which you know oversees our capital markets and the items that we invest in as American investors, have not allowed for Bitcoin to move into the ETF wrapper. We at Grayscale have been working on this for years, trying to expand access to Bitcoin in a safe way so that investors don't have to figure out where to buy, how to store and safe keep Bitcoin, but instead can buy investment vehicles like ticker GBTC. So we've actually been engaged in litigation to challenge the SEC's decision, and we do expect that we'll get a decision on the litigation sometime this fall. And if successful, bringing GBTC to an ETF will open it to a wider audience of investors and give investors greater protections. That's what they want, and, and that's what they deserve. If viewers are, want to invest in crypto, how do they get started and where can they go to like learn more about all of this? folks think about starting to put some investment money into crypto, they should certainly search tickers GBTC and ETHE in their brokerage account if they want to put some capital into Bitcoin or into Ethereum. Uh, thank you for joining me this morning. Awesome. Thanks for having me. Students are returning to school and sports facing record heat and challenge of staying hydrated. But joining us today is author and nutritionist Pam Nizovich Beard, who is teaming up with Pedialytes and the global healthcare company Abbott to share some important information about the importance of proper hydration. Welcome to the show, Pam Nizovich Beard. Thank you for having me. So, why is hydration so important? And what are the signs of dehydration? Good question. So as a sports dietitian with Abbott, as an avid marathoner and as a mom, I've learned over the years really the importance of hydration. And it's critical to stay hydrated as we think through the heat, as we think through return to school, return, return to activities. And here's why. 60 to 70% of our bodies are made up of water. So as we're sweating, we're losing some of this water and losing up to 2% of our body weight from dehydration can really impact our performance, but it can impact our health and our well-being. And we start to get symptoms of dehydration. So feeling tired, dizzy, irritable, um, you may experience headaches. In our kids, those symptoms of dehydration look like tired, grumpy, flushed face. Um, and it's not always up to our thirst sensor to tell us it's time to hydrate, right? So if you have those symptoms of dehydration, you start to feel just a little bit off. 
it's time to pause and add in a hydration break. Um, I think you've just described my entire life. So I think I need to start drinking more water and staying more hydrated. I think you just you just found something in my life that Probably. I'm just gonna, Yeah, there it is. Uh, can you share some ways that we could just beat the heat and get out of it? Yes, so my favorite strategy is prehydration. So adding in fluids in the hours before whatever our day hands us, right? Because most of the athletes I work with actually show up to a workout or a game dehydrated. So you're already at a deficit and we don't we want to avoid that, right? And it's not just athletes, it's our kids who are in band, it's our friends who are working out in the sun, it's us in our garden, right? So in the hours before our activity, we want to add in fluids and there's easy ways to do that. So we can add in water, we can add in our unsweetened teas, um, we can add in science-based electrolyte drinks like a Pedialyte. Because when we are sweating, we are losing fluids but we are also losing electrolytes. And electrolytes are special minerals, the sodium, the chloride, the potassium that helps our body maintain fluid balance, helps our cells work. And we've got to replace those in order to stay hydrated. Um, my go-to as a as a runner is a Pedialyte Sport. It replenishes fluids, and it's formulated with those five key electrolytes that I'm losing during sweating during exercise. Uh, for kids, Pedialyte Freezer Pops are a treat that we can give them to help them cool off, rehydrate, and replenish some of those electrolytes. Um, if you're traveling, if you're going to a beach concert, you can add in a Pedialyte Stick Pack to your water. That's really easy and convenient. Uh, other ways to hydrate are thinking through our food choices. So we can, you know, add in up to 20% of our fluids from foods. So the fruits and the vegetables, the melons, the cucumbers, a lot of these items are up to 90% of water. And also they're adding in electrolytes and they're adding in essential nutrients that we need to stay nourished. Um, so that's another way to stay hydrated. What else can parents and coaches do to keep the like young athletes hydrated? So if you are a coach or a trainer who has an opportunity to schedule your practices earlier or later when conditions are not as intense, I would encourage you to do that because it lessens some of the, the sweat losses. Um, making sure that athlete is encouraged to hydrate before, during, and after. As a coach, I show up with you know a five gallon jug of water and a five gallon jug with Pedialyte in it because I know my athletes are probably gonna forget their water bottle and you've got to make sure that they've got access to hydration before, during and after practices. Um, as you're talking to your athletes, as you're talking to your kids, remind them that sugary drinks actually slow down the hydration process. So we don't wanna be relying on sugary drinks to hydrate. We want the right amount of electrolytes that we'd, we would find in a Pedialyte to help replenish fluids and electrolytes and feel feel better fast. Uh, thank you for joining me. Where can we go for more information? You can go to Pedialyte.com for more information. You can find Pedialyte in the pharmacy in the baby aisle at your favorite store. And thanks for letting me join you to chat hydration this morning. And that's it for New Mexico Rising. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining us and being part of the show. If you want to find out more about New Mexico Rising, just follow us on social media. Just look up New Mexico Rising TV. We are everywhere. Or if you want to be on the show, email me, newmexicorising at gmail.com. I can go to your business or you could just zoom in like everybody else. And that's it for New Mexico Rising this week. See you next week. That was New Mexico Rising. <laughs>